It is a film in which there are few surprises, but what there is is delivered efficiently, like a kind of, uh, you know, when somebody has a, a franchise burger or, a you know, Frankie's hot dog, whatever it is, you know what you're getting. And in the case of life, you know exactly what you're getting, and that is what you get. So... It sort of starts, I mean, it's beautifully uh, photographed by uh, Seamus McGarvey. There's a very, very good cast. It starts out with a kind of swirly, whirly sequence that reminds you of the upside down world of gravity. Then it moves into something which is not unlike alien in many ways, in which, the, the, in many <laughs> that's, ways, that's yeah. one way of putting it. Then we have a little bit of life force, and then for a little bit, it goes off a bit event horizon, and then it comes back to alien again, and then it sort of ter- moves towards uh, Planet of the Apes. And the thing about it is that there were, there are definite pleasures in that. It, it, it was, as you said in that interview, I mean, it cuts to the chase. It's I think the movie is actually 103 minutes long. felt like it was 85 because it kind of moves, yeah. doesn't it? I think it is under 90, isn't it? Anyway, if, uh, No, I think it's actually... I, I, it just it, The time flies yeah. by. It feels like a, sh- like a short movie, which I always think is a, you know, it, it, it is a good thing. It absolutely doesn't do anything that's hugely um, original or hugely inventive. And it sort of seems to be completely unabashed about its its own derivativeness. And again, as long as you accept that, it's not a problem. There are things in it that, that are just silly. Um, but again, that's perfectly fine. If you're doing a certain kind of science fiction movie and you can't be silly, then what are you doing making a certain kind of science fiction movie? The question always is, do you remain um, excited by it? Do you remain, you know, interested in the characters and what happens to them? Because when it's basically that story that you you said, you know, there's a microorganism, everyone in the cinema says, don't hit that with electric prod. They hit it with an electric prod. And surprise! And then, surprise, it's that film. Um, and I remember when I was interviewing the, the people who made Alien, you know, the original screenwriters and uh, really, they all said it, it is basically this, I mean, Alien wasn't new. Alien was taking a sort of well-worn format and putting it into space. And I remember Ridley Scott talking about going back and watching Texas Chainsaw again because it was drawing elements from that. So this comes from a long line of movies which do a version of this story. Um, and every now and then there are sort of nods toward a greater, you know, a greater theme of, you know, what is life, what is viruses, what is the things you're doing. But generally, it's the thing in which the buggy thing chases a bunch of characters around an increasingly uh, small tin can. And I was never bored. I smiled at some of the gags. I thought that it looked really beautiful. Uh, I thought it was, you know, it was, it was a it was a good sight. I mean, I do love science fiction because I love that I, you know, I, I love the aesthetics of space and I love the aesthetics of, of uh, spaceships. It's one of the reasons I love gravity so much. Is it takes place in a place that that I really like. It's like I love local hero because I love the scenery. I love gravity because I love the scenery. And in the case of life, I enjoy being in that world. And I also enjoyed the fact that. Three minutes in, it was evident that it was going to be that movie. I remember you said at one point, you're waiting for a twist to come, and then you realise that the twist isn't going to come. Yeah, I do. I did think, OK, well, they, this is very good. I'm, I'm quite engaged. That obviously, they're going to do something different. Obviously, yeah. any moment now, they're going to... Oh, they're not. Yeah. They okay, well, and even just... when you get to the sucker punch, I would guarantee you that at least half the audience can see the sucker punch coming. But it's a good sucker punch anyway. So... I, I don't think it's original. I don't think it's, it's genre breaking. But what it is, is it's efficiently done. It's done with enthusiasm. It's done with a degree of uh, verve. And it is it is the very definition of a popcorn movie, so much so that despite the fact there are long bits of silence in it, you know, it's almost a thing which you'd say, OK, forget the code. You know what? It's that film. <laughs> 